I'm very happy for us to get uh, some points, but it will be better if we get more points than goals. So I'm happy to score now because I have lost too many in the start of season. So now I am enjoy playing now. I think I, I have to keep going. A little bit more belief about themselves. first touch and once that ball past the goalkeeper it's about his composure to slot the ball home Bernabia and Voe well there's certainly time and it clear and here's Forrest Berkovic and Voe he's done it again three minutes to go and Mark Vivian Voe goes over to the City fans who've made the trip to South London and says, here's a point for you. Berkovic, that was a shot, I'm sure. But Foe was quickest to react. And Manchester City from two down to 2-2. Two -two. Keegan's decision to move the Cameroon International to a more offensive midfield role was soon rewarded with vital goals. Looking for the return, go to Foe. Enkelman into the corner of the goal. A terrific din around May Row, which might just get louder here. It does. And who else but Bernabia to set up the goal? Foe takes the congratulations. Dunchy high. Into Foe. Satisfaction and no wonder. Looking up for the options, one of them's Foe. It had to come. 35 minutes of dominance. Belmardi and Foe. Well, it was a subdued celebration in the end. But Manchester City have run this game. Is it going to be more than just the three goals? Belmardi in on the act, round the back, and Foe gets his second of the contest. It was easy. But a poignant moment too. The stadium fell silent as a mark of respect for the late Mark Vivian Foe, who died so tragically on June the 26th, 2003.